Smash you do not give enough, all right? Let's let everyone know what we came to fucking do. Finish the fucking job and it starts right now. Every fucking game hits nothing. This is what it's all about. Right here. This is the day. Hey, ball motherfuckers. We play as a team. Let's communicate and roll our guns. Team on three. One, two, three, three. We build on every event. The team just plays better together every time we get we step on the field with each other. You know, we don't all get to play with each other all the time, so. You know, this time we got a little practice beforehand together, so it just, the team just gels better every time we play. We got every paintball great and legend playing, and <laughs> at some point, you know, this weekend, we might run into, you know, who's who of paintball, so uh, you can't sleep on any teams. I mean, even the local teams that play the woods here, the, the woods could be a defining factor in who moves on. You could have the best ex-ball team out there and they go in the woods and they, they stalemate or lose to the local team. So we take everybody serious. It's fun, man. You get to see all our old friends and stuff like that. It's a good time. You gotta have a lot of balls break your way, and and uh, you gotta play good ball. You gotta play good ball for two days. And we feel like our guns are machine guns, so we're putting a little more paint there. I personally, I like hyperball. I think all of us don't like mounds, so I think it's a split between hyperball and woods on what our guys like. used to be just a lot of gunfighters, very slow and controlled, and then I didn't want just that, so we picked up, uh, you know, Deerman and Vegas and Unger are kind of our, you know, go murder people. We changed it up, so it, we're harder to prepare now because we have a little bit of both. I ran down the snake, popped the top, shot a couple in the center. They had one guy in the back left that was holding up the right side, so I went down, traded with him. The rest of the team goes and hung the flag, baby, like clockwork. Run it! Run it! I like playing all. Woods Field's treating us real well, so I like it out there. I feel real comfortable when I'm playing. I've been doing this a long time. It's just a job. We just go out there and do what we got to do. All right, so we're watching Adrenaline here on the breakout, and they are going to try to risk bodies up in that center of the field. Richie, we're talking about how important that center of the field is. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, pointing out the hit on his copper, on. and we might actually see a penalty. Yeah. We are going to see a penalty here. That is really going to help things out for, again, one of the favorites here as that's going to speed up the attack. Deerman is still alive, Unger is still alive. It just held us in the whole time. We, uh, we started to body down one of our guys was shooting hot. So it was kind of uh, doomed from the start, but yeah. Uh, playing good, felt good. Uh, we won with eight up, so that's always solid on a high ball field. We like to take our time, you know, and uh, have a lot of bodies, a lot of bodies count. One, two, three. Three! No Nikki Cuba for Adrenaline, but they do get Eric Dearman back. They still have Brandon Unger and Nikki Vegas. And a pretty good break for both squads. But Nikki Vegas looks like traded out with him, so Vegas walks off dead from the sub side of the field. Every tube except uh, one or two was, was empty, so I had to make some dire decisions that game on what to do. So I just decided to sacrifice my body and hopefully somebody would shoot at me and draw the gun. So that's what I did. It worked out and uh, we came back. So good game. Man, there's a, always a good grudge match with these guys. I thought we were running out of time. We had a little more than I thought, but uh, I was on my last pod running out of air. Is now or never. Just had to go for it, and uh, luckily I had two guys come by uh, behind me, and you know, one of us we got shot. We was gonna clean it up anyway, so good game. The 
four of us that started in 87. So 32 years. And then we got with the, the other Tennessee guys about 20 years ago. So the, all of us have been together for 20 years, except Deerman had played on and off a few times, and, and Cuba's newer, and then Brandon's real new. But everybody else, we got 20 years in the bag, and then the core has 32 years. So uh, we still communicate, but a lot of times we we got that Jedi mind trick stuff that we were so used to playing with each other. So it's on 10 man, that's a big deal. Yeah, I've been to this field actually before, back in the day, maybe uh, around 98, 99, so definitely spilled some blood out here before. It is fun, but you still see the competition. Like You see a lot of guys that do take it pretty serious and want to come out here and win. I know, you know we want to come out here and win. I know x Factor's the same way. Dynasty will be here, you know, and there's a lot of other good teams. So I think you got a good mix of guys that are having fun and, and maybe they'll have a little bit of a rough prelims, and then you got the teams that are really trying to come in and compete and win, and I think we do a lot of both. Eight hundred guys, crazy amount of handball players. No, I don't consent. I don't consent. This is bringing everything back, everything that we started to, to love when we got into the sport. And, you know, we, we're here and you see all the faces. You see, you know, Rodney Squires, Lasoya, all these guys, Rock Gagnoni, guys we've seen from push videos when we were kids. And now we can play, a, you know, alongside them and, and against them. And it's, it's huge for the sport. You could say, oh, we're just out here for fun or whatever, but once the game gets going, you know, the competitive nature gets flowing. It's awesome. It's like a 25-year high school reunion. So, and all the stories, the old stories that get brought up. And yeah, man, it's good to see your brothers. So. If you're not here, dude, you're missing out. ICC, go ahead. Past it, shot him, and then that's when you was bumping up, and then I guess they shot everybody else from behind because the guy on the left tape, I shot three parts of him. down and their last guy luckily was looking the other way. I gave it a second before I shot him because I was really hoping it was our guy but it was their last guy so I shot him in the back and then hobbled it back to the start station. I'd like to say it was skill but I think it was a lot of luck.
other team we played, I don't remember their name, but they made a great move and snuck down the highway of the sub side on the top side of the mounds uh, and ended up shooting all of us in the back. So it was a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill, uh, but it was a wake-up call for us, right? We went 5-0 and before that last game of the day. So we got two more prelim games today on the hybrid field. Uh, we got our game plan figured out, already walked the field this morning, feeling good, ready to go get these last two prelims away and go into quarterfinals first in our bracket. So that's where we're at. A lot of vegetation the other day and now it's all gone. So it makes a different playing field. We just played uh, adrenaline and we were able to push the low side and kind of hold on the high side. Tough match, good team. Still looking good, just uh, yeah, gotta pick it up next game. Hopefully get the other side, play it. And hopefully we don't get that stuck with that for the semifinals. Got that dub, that was good. So right now we're sitting at the top in our bracket. Uh, right now we're just gonna wait, see what happens, and then move on to the semifinals. Excited about what we got. We're excited about our new guns. Uh, they're ripping, we're putting a lot of paint in the air. We're carrying a lot of paint, shooting all the paint. Uh, it looks like the other adrenaline teams are doing the same thing with their guns. Uh, and in combination with that and our players and the chemistry we're now forming together, practicing together, uh, I mean, we, we feel good about our chances, so. Anyway, we're going to get ready for the next one, see where, see who we're playing. I hear we've got at least two games going into to try to make the finals, and uh, we'll see how it goes, man. We're excited. I don't care who it is on the other side of the field. You know what I mean? Like obviously, there's teams when you play, you're like, all right, you got to step it up. They're really tough teams. I mean, you got the greatest of the greats playing, you know? Um, but when it, when it, once it comes down to playing, it, it doesn't matter who's on the other side, but you gotta take them all seriously. Bad Company and Ground Zero, which is <laughs> kind of funny because it's playing my old boys. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. You did not give enough, all right? Let's let everyone know what we came to fucking do. Finish the fucking job and it starts right now. If you want that. Woo! It'd be eight on nine in favor of adrenaline, and you guys have your bodies up in that center alive, so that's huge. Yeah, for they you. lost their snake runner, and so Deerman's gonna just not come off of it. Burning tires in the store. Are loading up right now at these 50 yard line spots, but it's where do you go from there? It's been a question for everybody. He's gonna try to come through these last two. what he does. This is our guy for this. FC. One and two. Oh, what he does. Hollywood That's with what the he's nasty there free back. Comes through and did it kind of pretty too because he came through and shot the guy and then he just went with like a little. He's close on about Oh, That's not good. Deerman, so the two of the big killers. What a great break here from Ground Zero Gold as Adrenaline losing some body. Chad lot, got lot shot going out to the sub pillar, so not good. All of our front guys are now dead.
Now Ground Zero Goal trying to utilize this huge advantage that they have put up on the board here on the kill count. That was a nice little finish from the snake side of the field here for Ground Zero. They look good. I'm not going to lie, that looks real good. Ground Zero Gold is going to punch their ticket on into the top nine, and what a great job. I mean, there, there's a lot of love between these two squads. Yeah, I mean, they're hugging it out, so, and I mean, we'll be pulling for, you know, these guys to do well moving on. Look, I mean, you can tell. But they beat us. I mean, they, they actually outplayed us in that they set up to beat our game plan and wait on us, and that's what they did. cutting through and just chalking up kills and comes through to put the finishing touches. That victory, so wow, what a great job. You know, just San Diego Dynasty, so masterful over all these years, starting way back in the early 2000s and just becoming the definitive paintball team. We're heading home and long drive and time to go back to work. Probably get a knee brace and uh, be back in Orlando. I'm shooting an adrenaline shocker and we just played adrenaline, team adrenaline. And so I beat them, we beat them with, with their own guns. So they're a little salty about that. He said, oh, we shouldn't have given to you until after the event, which is, is a little joke. But uh, yeah, they shot really good and good enough to, to, to beat them. So. Okay.